Deer Park, located in Orange County, New York, is a town rich in natural beauty. However, a few years ago, the tranquility here was broken by some newcomers who bought a plot of land on Gallic Hill Road and started to build a temple named Dragon Spring. At first, the hospitable residents were happy to share all the local resources with these new neighbors, but not for long. Those neighbors show their true colors. They come out lots of illegal constructions without building permits in Dragon Springs, which badly damage the ecological environment and interfere the local residents all the time. And the neighbors seem unscrupulous and insatiable. They hire some security guards who use violence to prevent local residents to visit a hill where the temple is located. Do their utmost to evade taxes in the name of religion, enjoy every rice here but pay no duty, even hatch something awful. Today, please follow us to see what happens here. When they first came, and the town heard that we were going to help to foster、um, a group to save people who are being religiously persecuted, we were so happy for that. You know, to be able to open our town's arms and embrace them as part of our culture,、um, of our community rather. And there are other Buddhist retreats in our town, and it's always been. Like such a wonderful relationship that we've had with them, they've always had such a calming presence.、Um, so I feel that we were exploited within the community. There, they have fences all around.、Um, many people say that they see guard dogs patrolling, guards at all of the gates,、um, which remain closed. But then,、um, when asked about that, people affiliated. With Dragon Springs, have said that that is for their protection from the Chinese Communist government to protect the children. But then there are houses out on that main road there. One in particular, where residents of the road said that on a warm, sunny day, with the door open, you can look in there and see wall-to-wall -wall bunk beds, like 30 people stuffed into one house. Without that protection of the fence and of the gates that they say they need so badly, shoes piled up outside on the front porch, and then once that information started to go around, now they have, or when I last looked, and for quite a while, had very thick, rigid insulation in all of the windows. So it's essentially completely、um, closed off to sunlight and the outside world. Also, residents have said that buses will come in the morning and pick up all of these people and bring them to the property with the fence and the gates, where they're believed to volunteer、um, to do this construction,、uh, ever-growing construction there. And then in the evening,、uh, they report that the same bus drops these people off at this house. Again, obviously. Living in deplorable conditions, which were made worse by porta potties、um, parked in the driveway, so they had no working toilet. It would seem in the house, but instead would have to go outside to relieve themselves, essentially over the same hole. Possibly thirty people in the house, like. Was reported at certain times. And the other thing too is, if you drive on Galley Hill Road, and I don't know about now this time of day, but there have been times when we've gone up, and the children that they say they want to protect, we see little ones out walking on the road. Now it's a very rural road, and it's a lot of curves and things, and there's little children out there on the road. It's not safe for that, you know. So they, at, you know, when they say they want to protect people, which is why they have the walls, but do they only protect the people who are inside their walls when they're inside their walls, and they don't care when they're out? Outside their walls, that people who live there at Dragon Springs are not allowed to take video, to take pictures. In fact, there was a picture shared with the public of a of their college that's there, and it was just littered with trash and construction debris.、Um, and then many, many delivery drivers 
jobs were threatened because one picture made it out of that property. And for a group who claims to be so proud of their property and they say they're creating something so fantastic, it seems very likely that, yes, this is true, that they are not allowed to take any video or any pictures of what's going on in there. So why are things so isolated? On the website of Dragon Springs, we can find it is also home to Shenyun Performing Arts, a world-class dance company and orchestra, and the Feitian Academy of Arts Boarding School. Besides, more than a dozen organizations which claim to be religious institutions are on the same website. Therefore, all these institutions belong to Dragon Springs have religious tax exemption. That is to say, Dragon Springs has enjoyed social welfare for so many years, but has paid nothing back to Deer Park till now. The construction is of particular concern also because they have a religious tax exemption. And in our town, our taxes have remained relatively low compared to the rise mm -hmm. in the state and even the nation as a whole. Um, but with so much construction there and no tax on it whatsoever, um, it becomes a burden to the town. Naturally, people are entitled to religious exemption. It's a great thing to be able to foster faith in somebody. It helps the community as a whole. However, looking back through New York Times articles with the Master Li Hongzi and, and other articles, it's been said time and time again that Falun Gong, Falun Dafa is not a religion, that it's a practice. But then in you know, more recent history to be filing for and being granted religious exemption um, is really puzzling and disappointing for a lot of our residents to be missing out on that tax money. The U.S. government regulates that for the sake of circuit and water safety to add any additional floors or make any internal restructuring even on one's own land one needs to get approval from the government. For some large-scale projects, it may take years to get approval. But Dragon Springs has never stopped expanding, building, and restructuring secretly. Look up from the foot of the mountain. You may find nothing abnormal. But through these photos taken by local residents from the hilltop, it is obvious that Dragon Springs is adding additional floors to existing structures with no government permits. Because we, we have something here on, in New York State, I don't know if in the other states, but it's called the Mama's Plan. It's a mutual aid plan. Because we're so rural, we have many rural fire companies, and they're all volunteer. So you, you know, if you know how many people are there, you know how many other companies you need to call in if there's a fire or there's an incident, because you need help. Well, we don't know. We have no idea. Um, and for a long time, they wouldn't even let the fire company in. They finally did let them in, but it was a very controlled tour. They weren't allowed to look at different things or to go through things. And normally, um, like for the larger areas here, once a year, the employer, the, whoever runs it, you know, whoever is in charge of the environmental health and safety aspect of it, will invite the local fire companies in because we want them to be safe when they come to fight a fire. We, we want them to know, okay, you go down straight in this hall and maybe you have to go right or you have to go left because how else will they know uh, unless you do that? And they build and they don't get permits. They apply for their permits, their building permits, after they've done it. Uh, for instance, just going on now, they applied for a permit to replace their driveway. They got the permit, and then they built it completely different. But, okay. So the town put a stop work order on them, because you can see that, because right. that's on the road. Okay. God only knows what they've done inside. But, um, and then the DEC put a stop to it, the Department of Environmental Conservation, because it will impede the flow of the water that goes underneath because it, of the way it was built. They spilled concrete into the waterway. It's a protected waterway. They spilled concrete into it. They don't, I guess they don't seem to respect what the rest of us respect. 
and they don't follow the rules the rest of us have to. Being a religious group, Dragon Springs never pay taxes to the town. While the town has to equip some new firefighting facilities for those illegal constructions inside the community, it will be a heavy burden to the town. Their university is, from what we can see from people who have flown over and seen things, ten or eleven stories high. We don't have a ladder truck that reaches that.、Um, there isn't anybody in our area who has a ladder truck that reaches it, and the local fire company who covers them. Brought that up in in a meeting and saying, you know, we need to, you know, we need to address this because how do we protect people if something happens? And、uh, nothing, we got got nothing. And it's not uncommon if a large building comes into a rural area that they will donate money、um, to help the local fire company because why should everybody else have to pay for what one? You know what one business owner or one group is going to benefit from. Since last year, many residents nearby received a phone call from a real estate agent named Lam O'Neill, who claimed to buy their houses a full cash payment. Lam O'Neill is also a supporter and follower of Dragon Springs. Over the past few years. Dragon Springs constantly bought the houses and farms nearby to expand the area, but as to Deer Park, the town itself could not get any mortgage tax from such transactions with no loan, but cash only. Because we don't, we also don't know. Like there's no record of anything. There's, you know, normally when you buy a home. You know, when there's a mortgage and there's mortgage taxes and there's all of the stuff that goes with it,、um, it, it you know, kind of goes by the wayside. Then,、um, one of the practitioners owned a home, and then sold the home, but it was never advertised as being for sale. It was bought by、um, a tax-exempt company,、um, but again, nobody really noticed. It was done very secretly.、Um, But they're still residing there, because people have called the home and asked for this particular practitioner,、um, and they're they are there. You know, they'll say that, oh, he and his wife will be home shortly. You know, I'm just here watching the kids now. So it's just a way of getting out of paying for the property tax that the town needs, and so it becomes the burden of everybody else. The construction noises also annoyed the residents nearby year after year. According to some local residents, Dragon Springs never do construction work at daytime, but at weekends, nights, or holidays. They seem to do their most work at night and on the holiday weekends because they know that nobody from the town or anyone is going to be going by. And like, we, that's my guess anyway, because why else would you do it at night and on the weekends? Like Labor Day weekend, I guess there was a lot of construction noise coming from there. Okay, and then so do like、uh, you know like、uh, residents nearby there are they bothered by it? Oh yes, yes. There's a lot of people who are so frustrated、um, with all of it. The local government tried to make Dragon Springs obey the rules, but unexpectedly, Dragon Springs took the tone to court. At last, the town won the case, but paid a lot of dollars. From then on, residents here has become cautious to the Dragon Springs. They have been.、Um, they they were issued stop work orders. They took the town to court.、Um, they have a lot of money. The town doesn't have a lot of money.、Um, it was a long battle.、Um, the town won, but in in the、um, spirit of trying to get along, the town said, "Okay." Even though you've lost, we're going to allow what you've currently built to stand. We're not going to make you tear it down, because that would be mean.、Um, and so then we thought that they would then say, "Okay, we will work with you from now on," but they didn't. More than ten years ago, the local residents decided to welcome those newcomers with kindness and tolerance, hoped to offer a better home for them. But through the years. They could not help wondering again and again whether or not the decision was right. 
They speak and act cautiously and sacrifice part of their rights in their own home, while the newcomers do whatever they want in the town. They have so much money that for the town to get involved in a lawsuit would, you know, could just wipe us out. You know, the town as we know it may not exist anymore. You know, it's.、Um, They didn't hesitate to take us to court once before, even though they lost. And they've said, "We'll take you to court if you fight us." The one picture that was leaked out, it was completely unsafe. There was so much debris around; it would create what's called a trip and fall hazard. There was somebody working from an elevated height without the right fall protection because I blew it up. On you know, I, I was able to zoom in and blow it up on my computer. So that's just one small snapshot of a of a what is a very large area, and I have to wonder how many other lives are at risk. You know, how many other people's lives are at risk while they work? Because I believe that work is something we do so we can have a life. It's not something we do so we can end our lives or impact our lives. We deserve to have a workplace free from recognized hazards. I don't see that happening there, just based on that one picture. The residents express their yearning for the past and helplessness for the present. They once warmly welcomed those guests come from afar, but never expected the troubles come along. However, bearing peaceful coexistence in mind, they still show great tolerance, even to a builder they have never met before. Guys in Dragon Springs. Just think about the huge disturbances and the hurts you brought to the local residents. Please stop the offensive behavior, stop the illegal constructions, stop the disturbing noises, stop the environmental disruptions, stop the ill-intended attacks to the kindly people. Every inch of land beneath our feet is a part of the town and belongs to our residents here. How could you build a high wall to isolate the local residents from this natural world, deprive their freedom of enjoying this land, and return kindness with ingratitude for sake of selfish interests? We couldn't help but wondering: Is what you did consistent with the title of temple?